Hello friends and welcome to this new video. As you can see I have an exotic garden and one of the chores that comes with it, especially in summertime, is watering. So like this giant bamboo really needs its watering, now it is making its offshoots, but of course you don't always have time. So I'm really delighted that Eve sounded me this Eve Aqua for testing. But I, of course I give my honest opinion about how I like this product. So let's dive into it. So as you can see, this home kit compatible. It works with thread. So here you can see that you have remote access. You have even your water consumption within the EVE app. The installation is really easy. Everything stays, that's typical EVE, everything stays only on your device they really respect your privacy there's no cloud solution and here you're seeing the eve app so let's unbox it now so you have the home kit code you have the eve aqua itself that you can simply fix your water tap, the on or off button, so when you want to use the water tap without having to use your iPhone or Siri, you just tap this button and the water will flow. And here you can attach your hose. There's also this adapter for your hose. And you have the two pen lights. So of course, the Eve Aqua can stay outside during winter. So remove it from the tap and take it inside before it starts to freeze outside and the batteries will last for a year so the great thing about this thing is that you don't especially need internet in order to use it you can set it up when you have internet connection and the eve app will transfer all the data into the eve aqua and it will remember your watering schemes because yes, this thing not only makes you uh, follow up your water consumption, but of course the thing about Evaqua is that you can set up watering schemes. So this way you can decide to turn on or off your watering, your sprinkler or whatever installation you have on specific days and times. And you can even create an automation where it also considers the weather but more about that later on so in order to install the batteries there you go and here you have the battery compartment so we can remove that like this Now the batteries are set and you can place the cover back on top. There you go. Now we can simply add Evaqua to our home kit. You can use the home kit app, but it would be preferable to use the Eve app that you can download from the app store because within the Eve app you have way more options and settings. So let's do so. So we go to the Eve app. You can do this when you're still within your Wi-Fi range, of course, and you can add this to your home kit. And then only afterwards you will install the Eve Aqua on your tab outside. You go to the last page, then you add an accessory. You scan your home kit code. And I can add it to home kit. Now you choose the right room so that is garden you can name it but i will leave it eve aqua proceed you 
you can name your zones and there it goes. here you can see it has been added I can use Siri in order to activate the Evaqua I can define schedules so let's dive into Eve itself so here you can see I can set I can turn it on or off I can define a program in order to water my bamboo you can see when it watered the last time and here that's quite interesting you can set a default time that the water should run so when you're activating the evaco manually it stops automatically after the default setting in order to avoid that water run without your knowing and here you can see your water consumption So let's dive into more settings now. Here you can set the, the room where it's in. Here you can set the name for Siri. You can set the water flow a minute. Child protection. I guess it is to avoid that children would hit the button and make the water flow without you wanting to. And there you go. So here you can create Siri shortcut. And you can ask Siri to verify if it needs to water. And there you go. So you can see that I already have this water splitter. The Evaqua is completely compatible with those kind of devices. So here I have one hose that runs to my Gardena micro drip system. And this hose is for manual use. So let's verify that the tap is closed. That's empty the hoses now I can simply remove this hose connector and add it directly to my evaco and then I can add my evaco Now attach the hose again, there you go, and now it is all set up. So now it's installed, let's test. This Siri, arrose the bamboo. Dis Siri, arrête l'arrosage de bambou. Vous parlez bien du bambou Oui. So depending on when you run the shortcut, it will verify the weather forecast for today or even the next day. So if you run the shortcut before noon, the chance of rain is checked for the, that day and depending on the value, watering will be posed for that day. If you run the shortcut afternoon, the chance of rain for the next day is checked and depending on the value, watering will be posed for both days. So within the Eve app, you can also add scenes, pause watering today, pause watering today and tomorrow, which you can activate manually with a quick tap or Siri command without the weather forecast being taken into consideration. So 
You can even make this shortcut even better by setting up a notification. It will remind you to check the weather forecast and you can just tap it to run the shortcut. It's one last thing to think about. So for that, we go to the shortcut application on your iPhone. Then you go to new automation, create a personal automation. Then select a time of day. So let's do this every morning at 11 o'clock. And then every day, tap next. And then you can add an action. And there you go. So we dive again into the Eva Quest settings. And here you can see the program. I had to indicate my precise location of my house in order to use the weather forecast, of course. I redefined the program with the watering only once a day at um, 11 p.m. for 15 minutes. So here you can see that the program is activated. It isn't watering right now. The last time was 27 minutes ago and the default time is 10 minutes for watering. So that's the Eve Aqua. You can buy it for 150 euros directly on Eve Home. I think it's a really classy solution. Really handy to water your plants even when you're not at home and monitor your water flow and your water consumption. So let me know in the comments what you think about this solution. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the very next video. Bye bye.